This is One on One. Sometimes we have underachievers on the show, and today's one of those shows, and unfortunately, I'm going to introduce her right now. Right? Okay. Autumn DeForest is an 11-year-old artist prodigy. I am joking. You are anything but an underachiever. Can I tell some folks some things about you? Sure. You began painting at the age of five in your garage. Uh, at the age of seven, Autumn sold her first painting for over $1,000. Uh, at the age of eight, her first auction, Autumn sold over $100,000 worth of paintings in 16 minutes and signed a worldwide publishing and management agreement. In her ninth year, Autumn signed a worldwide licensing agreement and continued to sell an overwhelming amount of artwork, totaling over $400,000. Collectors of Picasso, Andy Warhol, also own, own works of Autumn. Now, at the ripe old age of 11, Autumn uh, is homeschooled and her family live in Las Vegas. She flew in today to do the show, and she is uh, featured as a child genius special uh, on the Discovery Channel. How you doing? Great. Too bad you don't do that much. <laughs> How are you? You look great. Thank you. And your artwork is very special. Thank you very much. And you honor us by willing, being with us. Um, this is, go back, you're five years old. Yes. You're out in the garage. Yes, I... And, and what are you doing? Well, one day I skipped out in the garage and I asked my father if he, he was standing some wood and I asked him if I could mess around and he said sure. And I just picked up some wood and, and, and some of the paint and I started and I loved it so much and experimenting with bold gestures and, and all different kinds of ab abstract ideas and then at m more when I started doing more paintings and, and I just, I loved it so much and I realized I want to change the world for the better through painting and inspire others that painting is fantastic. You want to change the world? Yes, I want to change the world for the better. Uh, the, they're taking art out of schools uh, and I think Art education. Art You're education. You're a big, big fan of art education, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I think it's incredibly important, and I think that as math and reading is important, art is incredibly important, and I think when you do art, your mind is just exploring so many ideas, and you're using your mind to create, and I think that can change the world. Mm. Do you mind if we look at some of your artwork? Sure. Hey, Bob, our, our Bob, Morris, Bob Morris is an artist. You may not realize that, but he's a director. He's a great artist. Uh, at five, he was in his garage making film. Uh, what are we looking at first? You have to talk us through this. This is American Graphic? Yes, American Graphic. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I loved Grant Wood, and I thought with his painting, I was so inspired when I looked into an art book and I saw it. And I thought, how interesting would it be to experiment with a crayon in the place of a pitchfork? <laughs> and I just, I, I put it out on, on the canvas and I realized, wow, that, that is what I was inspired by and that's what I put down and I loved that. I loved how I just took an idea from a very famous artist and twisted it into my, my personality. You're inspired a lot. What's the next one? Uh, Barbie Marilyn. Yes. Talk about that. I was inspired wow. by Andy Warhol, yes, and my grandmother gave me a, uh, a Barbie doll of Marilyn Monroe from Seven Year Itch. And I, I said, wow. wow. From the movie Seven Year Itch. Yes, from right. the movie Seven Year Itch, the, uh, the model, right. the Marilyn Monroe. And I, I loved it so much. And I thought, how interesting would it be to take the idea of Andy Warhol uh, painting Marilyn Monroe and mix those two ideas? Your brain, your mind is rich with a lot of inspiration. What do we have now? This is self portrait. I'm, I dying to see this one. Self portrait. Autumn, <clears throat> Autumn Rose. Autumn Rose, go ahead. I was uh, I was at the park once, and I was uh, the, my father and my mother was taking pictures, and and I was looking at a flower once, and and they took a picture of me looking at the flower, and the flower's not in the picture, but they got my face, and when I was skipping through pictures, I saw that, and I loved it, and it inspired me to do a painting. Your parents have been very supportive of you. Yes, very supportive. From day one. Yes, they they have gotten paints and paintings for me to experiment with. 
By the way, before we show the next painting, how important is it to you that your paintings sell and sell for a lot of money? Because they do. Uh, I feel as though it's important to have a piece of my imagination in a person's home. I, I'm not the money girl. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't, I, I want to inspire others and I want to have that, that their, my painting in their home because it, it mm. spoke to them and I, I want them to have that joy. You may not be the money girl as you say, but you're, you're raising money through your artwork and you've helped um, uh, several relief efforts in Haiti Yes. In Japan, and most recently, Hurricane Sandy. Yes, I have done a painting. Uh, this this in July, I'm going to do a uh, a show in Stone Harbor, New Jersey, and I'm in. Well, uh, I'm going to be unveiling a painting for Sandy. It's it's a it's going to be huge, and it's going when I sell it, the all the money will be going to the the families who lost wow. so much in the in that terrible disaster, and uh, and I, it is. A of two women holding hands from the New York flag and the New Jersey flag, because there's two women on each side and each flag, and they're holding to their hands. And you've all told our producers that you feel that every child should be able to have Christmas. Yes, yes. A lot of kids didn't have Christmas because of of Hurricane Sandy. They they lost they lost their their homes and and they lost their to their toys and and mm. I think that every child should should celebrate the life of Christmas. Hmm. Ready for another one? Sure. Which one is this one? Einstein. Talk about it. <laughs> well, I. Why does that get a laugh out of you? <laughs> well, he's spinning his, his tongue. I mean. Einstein sticking his tongue out. What inspired you to come up with that? Well, I mean, come on, it's 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 the it's the classic. Uh, he he's such a smart mind and and so serious and invented so many ways to look at math. And now he's sticking his tongue out and now he's being silly. And I thought, how is he making fun of us? <laughs> no. Uh, right behind you. Can, can we do the? Um, I, you have an order. Can we do the Las Vegas? Is one of them? Do, do your hometown, Las Vegas. Let's do Las Vegas. Go ahead. Talk about Las Vegas. Wow. <laughs> Love it. Electric Cowboy, that's the name. Uh, I was, I, I, I was, did a deal with THQ. Uh, it's a video game country, company, huge huge video game company. Uh, I loved, uh, they did, a, they have a product named Udraw, and I did that on Udraw, but uh, I thought, when I did that, after I did that, I loved it so much mm -hmm. that I thought, how about do a painting for it? Well, there's one that, that I want to show over here. It's uh, Dripping Summer. Could you guys, could you do Dripping Summer? It happens to be, you may not be able to pick it up on the television screen, but I want, it's actually over Autumn's shoulder, uh, right here in the studio, the actual painting, and so the texture of it is hard to pick up. Dripping summer, describe it. Last year I did a show in Stone Harbor, uh, and I loved it so much because I almost named this painting Anticipation, and because right over that ridge, right over that ridge is the ocean. You can smell the the, the sea salt, you can hear the crashing waves, and, mm. and, and I thought how interesting would it be to, to paint to catch that image and and each dripping ball represents somebody's fantastic memories at the beach and the the every blade of grass represents everyone who's been to the beach and I had so much fun there I decided to paint that memory. Shifting gears dramatically from the Jersey Shore to Times Square. Yes. You have a piece called Times Square. Talk yes. about it. Uh, this this when I did the Today Show and I went to New York a couple years ago, they shut down. Guys, could we show? There it is. They shut down Times Square for the BBC to to do a, um, a segment with me, and uh, they. <sighs> well, there it is. They did a shot of my mother and I. That's the um, if you can see it. Twice my, as big as you are. <laughs> yes, um, my mother and I are holding hands, walking down Times Square, and they did a shot of us doing that, and. I, I saw it and I thought, wow, what a fantastic painting. And uh, I had to actually 
put that painting on the ground to, uh, to paint it. Uh, and I, my father built me a bridge and he put that over the painting mm. so, so I could reach the middle. Before I let you out of here, I'm going to ask you this. I don't know if you know this for sure. Do you think that you were born with this special gift? I think God gave me this special gift and I want to I want to help people and inspire people with my gift and I feel as though when you take something that you love and and you you make it big and 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 make it to help people I think that's fantastic and and I think that I I want to I want to I want every kid to have the opportunity to sit down with a canvas or, or, or a piece of paper with paint or watercolors or crayons and be able to mm -hmm. express themselves. We think you're terrific. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you coming all the way in from Las Vegas. <laughs> Thank you. And sharing your art and sharing yourself with us. Thank you. Okay? All right. Wish you the best. Thank you. Thanks. We'll be right back right after this. Thank you very much. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by Sun National Bank, Qualcare Inc., New Jersey Manufacturers Insurance Group, PSENG, Fedway Associates Inc., the Russell Berry Foundation, and by Cone Resnick. Promotional support provided by The Star Ledger and NJ.com and by the New Jersey Business and Industry Association. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine. One-on-one -on -one with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.